Let's talk about Sneeko. Did you, did you guys ever actually have beef? Because I see you tweet random shit. You're like, yo, he made my career. But then I see you tweet other shit. You're like, I fucking hate this guy. That's bipolar. <laughs> yeah, but like, are you actually bipolar? You're just fucking with him. I think I am, but I'm not. They couldn't diagnose me for anything. So, the, you know, that's where everyone freaked out. That I came out, you know, medical records, perfect psychologically. But you can see some, something wrong. They with missed you. the test, bro. There's you know? something wrong with yeah. you. Yeah. Well, uh, well, let's talk about Sneeko, but you just reminded me of someone else that we're going to talk about. It's Fousey, but we'll get, we'll get into that a little bit later. Let's, the Sneeko thing. Where, where are you at with that? Does he, did you not with him? No, I love him. Because. Yeah, you don't love me. Why do you say shit about him then? I never did. I stuck to the same script I've always stuck. All I said was, oh, shit, I didn't say anything. He, I kept attacking Andrew, T and then he would push back. Yeah. And I'd be like, yeah, shut up, shut up. And then he like, man, if I say it like this, this sounds like a uh, hit piece on him. Why? Because he just threw our friendship in the garbage. Oh, That's God. your friend. You met him no, too. My, my bad, too. my bad. I mean, you can say whatever you want, but like, you know. It's all fun and games until I run into Andrew. Yeah, until that yeah. guy checks I'll be you, all bro. high and shit. He just attacks me. But yeah, so. I wonder who it, was in a street fight. You were Tate. He, I seen his wrestling. He's good, man. His wrestling? No, not his wrestling. Not okay, his wrestling. There I'm not talking about, I haven't seen his wrestling. Yeah, no. I, in, a, in a boxing. He, 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 street yeah. fight. In a street fight? Yeah. Put my knife right there. Ah, uh, <laughs> see. I'm kidding. No weapons. L let me let me tell you. Hand on God. Okay. On Jesus Christ. You gonna tell me how many fucking street fight pictures no, no, you no, have no, right no. now? I don't flex that. <laughs> if I told you how many I lost, this would be a 24 hour episode, right? But hand on God on Jesus Christ Almighty. Okay. I wouldn't feel one percent fear if I ran into Andrew or even Tristan, the bigger one, in a hotel lobby. I'm but they wouldn't. so confident yeah. in the wrestling portion. If it was like a, if it was a scary welterweight like um, Colby Covington, you know that would be scary, like a wrestler. But yeah, I'm I'm not afraid of like, you know, technical fighters on the yeah. street that much. Yeah, right? I don't think I don't even think. I mean, they wouldn't do anything to you in a, in a lobby anywhere. You know, if it was two of them at the same time, you know, that's when <clears throat> that's when I would. Uh, It'd I'd be a problem. To, no, I would call Fuzi. <laughs> G7, let's go. Bro, he's he's he slapping all the white boys. Is Andrew even white? Like, what is he? No, he's mixed. But, bro, Yusef was one of the most inter entertaining things in the last, like, what, two months on, on the internet? And he called me uh, t yesterday, yesterday morning. Oh, and he's I, out of the. No, he's not the out. The Joker's no, free. No, he's not out. No. He called me a week ago. And then he called me again yesterday and he said, uh, he was basically being held. I think cause he said some like reckless sh cops or I don't know what exactly why he's being held, but he went in for a psych evaluation and apparently he didn't pass and they want him to like stay until I guess they want to allow him to come out. But I guess it's going to be like another 30 days or some Holy shit. Sh that's some, some, but he's calling me and I'm telling you this because he's calling me from a hospital. So it's not like his random phone, like his phone. He doesn't have his phone. I always forget you're his best friend. Like you, you came out through him, right? Yeah. You came out of Fousey's I, womb. No, not <laughs> no, exactly. no. It's worse. It's worse. I came out of Sneeko's. <laughs> well, no, it's it's very different. Very different. Yeah, because my yours is not a cuck. Yeah, okay, no, hey, okay. I love <laughs> you, Sneeko. God, the Sneeko shade is. Yeah. I like Sneeko, man. Yeah. Don't slander my guy like that. I like him. He's no, I, I send him love letters on Twitter every day. He's a good guy. So, anyways, he calls me and he's like, "Yo," he's like, "I'm gonna be good." Um, and he says, I want you to do me a favor. T send a tweet. I sent the tweet out a couple of days ago. You saw it, probably. And uh, he said he's doing a bunch of, like, he, he told me he's doing 500 push ups, 500 sit ups a day. I'm like, this is bullshit. Well, he's planning to spring out. But he's going to, he, <laughs> yes. <laughs> he's going to do something against but the wall. He wants to get the f out of there, obviously. He said there's still a kick deal. Uh, he says he's medicated. Like they, they some the kick syringe. deal doubled. He I, slapped a child. That's the best content we've ever seen. He what? He slapped a child. That was the most badass. Shit. You talking about Doherty? That bully. That little fucking bully. I don't even. Yeah, I saw. I didn't know there was. I just saw the that clip. kid was bullying Fuzi the whole time. Oh, you saw the other content? I didn't see. Well, the I heard time. the behind the scenes stuff. 
Oh, I didn't see it. They cut out a... Well, it's not... They didn't cut out for the live stream. There's a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff that makes Fuzi look a lot more normal. Like, have you ever been around condescending people where they're they're making fun of you with the whole room, but they're trying to fly under the radar? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. And so yeah. Fuzi, he lets that shit load, and then he snaps. He's looking at, kind of like me. I'll let, you know, a, a bunch of jabs, and then I'll slap a child. Yeah. <laughs> he smacked the shit out of that kid. How old is that kid? I don't know. I think. Did you see he got up by the island boys Bro, after i that, gave that, them a pep talk on my stream that whole shit is just like fake i don't know i think i think a little bit's contrived for sure i think they know what they're doing obviously the island those boys guys are junkies i mean the, Bro, the island guy about? island guys they faked the fact that they look at they were one was sucking the other one's and shit oh, like they didn't you know fake that no i saw the clip you see there's like a thing it's like a carrot or some bullshit yeah, but they're still tongue. Oh, I don't, that's, that's the what I'm saying. Thing. They'll do whatever they want for Cloud. That's the point, right? That's why we're talking about it. So I think a lot of it's contrived. I think a lot of it's No, bullshit. they're drug addicts, so they scripted, hey, let's play fight. But then you play fighting with a perked out fiend, so he starts choking you to death. I've been around junkies like that, except the bigger ones. Wait, who's his ex fiend? Uh, obviously, the island knows. The, I, the incest boys... And I like you, how can you not tell from their eyes? Like, dude, I used to do IDs as a bouncer for five years and I'd look, I know exactly what drug they're on. I know the cocktail. It's always downers and they look like Perks and Zans and Perks and Zans. And then I hit up their ex and it's Perks and Zans, she told me, right? So <laughs> I was like, that I, true? is that true? I guess that was like months and months ago. So maybe they switched, but it, you can't tell the droopy eye look. Yeah, yeah. The tired shit. Yeah, and Just all the low. rage that comes out of nowhere from the irritability, right? Because yeah. when we used to spar in basements, all these bouncers, everyone had a drug in my city. The ketamine guy, the Percocet guys could, were the most durable. They're not feeling pain, but they were slower, so they're taking a lot, <laughs> right? They wouldn't come to work the next day. Uh, there would be, um, the drunks were most aggressive for the inhibition thing. Like, the what? The drunks. Oh, right. Okay. So we'd all glove up and it would be like U UFC with just junkies drug dealers and all the hottest girls in a corner talking to each other they didn't even watch the boys fight that's how bored oh, the girls were wait what are you talking about in my hometown you're talking about like a fucking so all my co-workers this is bullshit this has to be a bullshit story. no 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 literally in my hometown there's different nightclubs on granville street you can go to cabana talk to the head doorman you could go to celebrities talk to head doorman 12 of us is a little posh. You could go to a bar none. The dirty guys that what sell drugs. What city is this? Vancouver. Okay. So the dirty guys who sell drugs, they're all kind of know each other. You're saying this is a real thing. Drug addicts. It would always start as a party. Like it wouldn't be organized fight club. It would start as a party. And then one okay. guy would put the gloves on <clears throat> to impress a girl or whatever. And then you know how drug addicts are. Like they just. Okay. Yeah. But no one would ever do it sober. Right. If, if, if people didn't have their drugs and drinks, they were like gentlemen. Right, but then they put those demons in them, and they turn into exactly what you see with the island boys. That <laughs> irritability, that everything pissing them off and shit. And so I, I can see that those guys are doing a lot of drugs. 